and uh, I, and yeah, A Bridge Too Far has fucking Sean Connery in it, and it's amazing. Oh, so I'm yeah. gonna add that to my list. Oh, dude, watch it, watch it. Bridge Too Far is fantastic. I haven't watched that yeah. in a while though. Uh, speaking of my list, would you like to see it? Okay, sure. go ahead. All right, just let me add a bridge too far to it. Is it a TXT file? Um, if it doesn't have Booty file. Warrior 39 on it, I ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> if you want to add a Mozo, Mozo is pretty good to watch. What? Mozo. You ever watch that movie? Mozo. Is that the is that one of them uh, Middle Eastern war movies? Yeah, Battle Iraqi Shwa during the Battle of Mosul for 2016 2017. It's really good. It's a fictionalized retelling of it, but it is a really good movie. Because Iraqi Shwa during that battle were ironically very fucking badass. Hmm. Excellent. Afro Samurai like, though. All oh, right, yeah. hashtag alive. Okay, that's good. Bridge too far. You just added that. Accidental man. Oh yeah, that's right. That that came up. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Afro Samurai. That's a good movie. All Cry in a Restaurant, Front, 1979. That's actually really good. I remember seeing that in class. Altered States. Mm. Crap, I don't think I've heard that one. American Werewolf that's in London. That's a that movie that I saw from the fan made, uh, a uh, fan made uh, music video. Uh, Wretched World by Converge. Oh, okay. Yeah. American Angel Werewolf in London is really fun. Of... Angel's Egg. Angel's oh, Angel's yeah. That's the one Lolly said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the okay. um, like the artsy, like, anime film where it's technically about religion. Yeah. Nightmare yeah. on Elm Street 2? Yeah, because I have, uh, I have, like, a 1, 3, and the remake. Isn't oh. that the gay one? How's that the gay two, one? 2 is the gay one, yeah. Two is, the two, is, two is literally the gay one, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of homosexual right. undertones in that, or, or overtones, let's be frank, in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that dude's main scream, he, the dude like screams like a girl. It's actually really fun. I really like that movie a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Antlers. Where's your hall pass? <laughs> Where's your hall pass? This I need to is watch, God. Uh, Aqua Team too. I need to watch Aqua Team as well. Army of Darkness is very fun. I get why people so don't like it. It is my favorite in the trilogy. I am so sorry if that pisses people off. I really like Army of Darkness a lot. I'm sorry. I like the first one. The good movie. Ash or the bad Ash? Like, good, I'm the guy with the bad. Gun. I'm the guy with the gun. Good. Bad. I'm the guy with the gun. Well, the thing is, I'm badass, game. and you're I'm good ass. Like show, and I don't like it then. Like this is my, my boomstick. This is my boomstick. The 12 gauge double barreled Remington, S Mart's top of the line. You can find this in the sporting goods department. Made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. <laughs> Shop Kmart or Shop Smart. Shop S Smart. Shop S Smart. You got yeah. that! <laughs> Shop Smart. Shop S Smart. You got that! Oh god. You know, you know, honestly, I do want to see the new Evil Dead movie. I heard it's good. I have heard it's pretty oh, good. Oh, I need, I need I heard, to check it out. I really I heard do. That it, I heard I heard that it opens up the universe so much there's three it actually clears up and it's really clever like yeah. there's three editions of the necronomicon that is so that's clever that's actually clever so not only does that kind of mean the remake might actually take place in the same timeline and this movie yeah. take place in the same timeline as the ash timeline which is cool so it, it's not it does just... because if if you remember in the first remake it has that weird rusted out car that mm -hmm. is the same car from Evil Dead 1, Evil Dead 2, and Evil Dead 3. It's the same car, same cabin and all that. Mm. But it's the different Necronomicon. It's a, it's a different and book. 
it's a different book, which makes sense because Ash has it in Evil Dead. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Lone, you're free to flash up my list on the stream if you want to. Oh, okay, because I was actually a little bit worried there. There's, um, let me just check a quick look and see if there's nothing like confidential that can actually muck also, shit up. Um, okay. All right, there we yeah. go. Let me just... As someone who watched Assault on Precinct 13, the original, it is fucking awesome. You will like that one. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah I the original is really fun. Yeah, I keep on getting results for the I remake, like, which I, I know movie. sucks. The remake's okay. Yeah. I mean, I think it's okay. But, like, the original is really, really good. Like, I can see, I can see, like, uh, how that kind of ended up becoming Halloween. Like, I can see some of the Halloween, like, I want to say influence, because Halloween came out after Assault 13, but, like, um, I can see, like, kind of some of John Carpenter's, like, kind of horror influence in that movie. Like, the thriller stuff, and it's good. Hail to the king, baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, uh, Baby Driver, that's pretty good, too. Baby oh, Driver's God. really good. Watch that. That is so... Oh, my God. Yeah, that, I saw that. I that saw is that so one. good. Yeah, that was one of the first. That, that was one of the first English movie that I actually watched in its entirety when I was in Ireland. When I was on yeah, um, this trip, it was fucking badass. It wasn't an actual. It's so cinema. good! It's so good. Yes. Fun, I, I, fact, yeah. fun, fun fact about Baby Driver: every action scene that involves the car is in time with the music. Yes, it is. Yes, it's it so is. good. Like it's all in time with the music, including the shootout scenes. It's all, all of it synced That's to the fine. beat. It's so cool. It's so clever. That's I actually. Why he had to restart the song. Ears, I don't know, one heist moment because he had to restart it. Yeah. He had to restart the song. Wait, I mean, wait a minute. I have to restart the song, and it's actually in it. The the heist scene's so good. The chase scenes are awesome. Like. Did you hear about the uh, Mike Myers joke? Actually, oh yeah, the Mike Myers Mike joke Mike actually Myers. got me oh, yeah. rolling. Yeah. That they was so funny. What the fuck is this man? Austin Powers. Doc said Michael Myers. This is Mike Myers. It should be the Halloween man. This is a Halloween mask. No, the killer dude from Halloween. Oh, you mean Jason. No. Like, that is so good. How awesome. did this get made? It's so fantastic. I love this. We need to watch it again. Okay. I will never get tired of that movie. Behind the Mask, The Rise of Lissy Vernon. Who? I don't think I've heard yeah, of that. Yeah, it's like a... It's sort of a mockumentary where this like uh, film crew is falling around some guy as he wants to become like the next big slasher. Oh yeah. Oh, I heard about that one. oh yeah. Huh. I must have heard it. Oh, yeah. uh, I was about to spoil it, and then I was like, wait, nope, don't. Oh, nothing. <laughs> it's a it's a good movie. It, it's it's they make a lot of fucking tropes and all that, and it twists your, your on you on the ending. It's great. Because he's like, yeah, cardio is one of the best things, you know. How do you think they run so fast? It's like, no, they power walk through that shit. Being John Malkovich is actually really... I mean, that movie's pretty meta, it, it's a but good it's, movie. it's a good movie. John Malkovich. <laughs> Beyond the Black Rainbow. I don't think I've watched that one. Big Trouble in Little China, I think I saw snippets. Oh, that's, that a is a, that's a good movie. Big Trouble in Little China is really good. You pay your yeah. dues, Jack. Yes, sir. Check is in the mail. God, like, so good. Black Christmas, if we're talking the OG. Uh, yeah, the, the OG. Uh, the original's good. Their remake, oh, their recent Which remake. One? Oh, oh my God. God. It, it, is, it is just What's insulting. What's Black Christmas about? It's a slasher it's a, it's Christmas a movie. It's slasher Christmas movie. Pretty much. Oh. Yeah. Black Mountain Side, I don't think I've watched... Um, Blood Beat. Do you have the hills on that have eyes on that, Marshall? Or why is Breaking Bad on this? Oh, list? I already have the OG They're read. both. Because I, because it's movies and uh, TV shows.
Blue Gender. I don't think I've heard of that one. Blue Gender is the the bug one where the guys get uh, trapped, uh, sent to the future by like sleep pods and all that, and then they have to fight bugs and uh, mechs and all that. It's actually a really good horror anime. I highly oh. recommend it. Um, it basically it's like these bugs are after people because they have this like Q cell and all that, and the main cast have like the highest mount and all that, and they're slowly turning into bugs as the. It's really good. Hmm. I don't know. Sounds sussy. Uh, Chopper. I don't think. What the hell is that? I think I've heard of that it's one. It's about it Chopper sussy. Reed. Chopper Reed. He's this uh, f- famous guy from Australia. Ah, that's He's right. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah Chopper Reed. Right, right, right. I need to remind myself that. Yeah. Yeah. Chopper. Chopper. Uh, if you don't mind, Brad, about that anti. You know the anti-domestic violence or rape, mm-hmm. where it's possibly the most effective one. It's like, oh yeah, you don't want to end up in jail with this guy. Think about that, because you beat your wife or you beat your loving ones, you might have a chance of beating that guy like Chopper. Mm-hmm. He cut off his ears. What do you think he's gonna do to you? Yeah. That was straight up murder. That was. <laughs> I like the the Mad Lads. I, I need to watch the movie. Yeah, because yeah. I remember like adding that to my list uh, some time ago. It was like when, after I watched the Mad Lads of it, and I was like, huh. Uh, looks good. Uh, Claymore, really good. I recommend that. That's actually good. That's a good show. I need to read the manga though. Uh, I, that's oh no, the, the the manga is very confusing. Mm. Who the fuck is fighting who? Uh, okay, Con Air. Doggone, I it's, actually would have expected good. some some of you to have watched at that point. Why couldn't you put the bunny back in the box? Cooties. That's kinda it, <laughs> That's kind of a it, funny movie. A, Cause um because like the literal zombie apocalypse starts because of like what was it, tainted it's chicken not a nuggets? Ap- yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a zombie movie. It's I mean, it kind of is a zombie movie. It's just a little kids get infected. Hmm? For those of yeah, you, yeah, you who don't know, Cooties is basically it's... a movie that stars, um, dunk on it. It stars the guy Elijah who played Wood. Uh, Fix It Felix. Elijah, wait, what? Man, wasn't it Elijah Wood? One of the guys, he, he uh, voiced Fix It Felix in wreck it Mouth Ralph movie. Hmm. Let me look at this. Yeah, Elijah Wood, Lee, uh, Rain Wilson. Yeah, oh, yeah, Jack Jack McBriar. Yeah, okay, yeah, he is in the cast. I haven't watched this movie in a long while. But yeah, it basically stars a couple of teachers and the little kids, like, uh, eat, like, tainted chicken infected. nuggets and get infected. And they pretty much become zombies. And it's literally them trying, trying to deal with this situation. It's kind of fun, in a way. Um... So if you like like crazy movies like that, you might have fun with cooties. So yeah, mm-hmm. creep. Uh, I don't think I've watched. Uh, it's that it's is... one about this guy who like is following another guy around with the camera, kind of like documenting him and all of this. And it gets really like, weird and all that. There's this wolf mask and it, it just gets weird. Find out. Yeah, I yeah. Some guy movie. gets some guy gets hired by uh, another guy who lives in, like, a cabin in the woods to record his daily life for some reason. And the, it's the camera the guy's guy dying realized... of cancer and all that. And then I would like, give out my final moments to my unborn kid, all of that, and kind of spirals out of control. It's a good movie. Mm. Um, Donnie Darko... You Donnie might have Darko's to you have movie. to watch a few times to get honestly. It's one it's one of those movies, but I mean I don't have like issues with like art house films and, and we're thinking movies yeah. like that. But yeah, don't don't try to go in with an open mind. That's this all the sequel yeah. is also very interesting. So you got to throw in Darnie Darko S on there. Mm. All right, uh, Emmy. Yeah, we can. Yeah, uh, right, thank you. All right, yeah, event horizon. <sighs> And, I mean, the movie has a cool audience. Hey. I mean, it is as much I like it. I do think it's kind of overpraised. I do. 
this is gonna make me sound like a jerk but it's mostly people like the like the prospect of the movie we could have gotten as opposed to the movie we um did get but yeah. i don't think that automatically makes it like good or anything like that i mean like i i won't lie i'm dead certain like had that unru unru unrated cut actually released it probably just would have been just gore porn torture porn for two and a half hours three yeah. hours or whatever which i mean eh, there's it ways has to, an audience it has an audience but i mean evil dead 2013 i actually think that's decent um evolution I... wait didn't you watch that marshall yeah these are movies that i want to add to my uh movie wall okay because hmm. i'm like I thought these are movies that you haven't watched i guess it's a mix of that because if you because yeah. i remember re-watching this like some time ago and and actually liking it a lot Isn't that the one where the guy's like i stuck my head in some place i don't even want to fucking question <sighs> yes a lot, it is a the best of... commercial for soap ever i ever. fucking love evolution. i remember watching this thing when i was a kid i remember watching this like um like right. it was it was shown in like one of my classes i forgot which which grade it was but it was actually because it, it's a good way of teaching like kids about like mitosis and meiosis and that type of stuff about how evolution actually works and it's pretty pretty cool and clever you get back in the day when the teachers just had to like hey can i could we watch this movie in class and you have to get parents permission back in the day oh yeah that was back in the day nobody got offended yeah uh oh uh, doggone it what's his name uh molder molder is basically just molder Moeller uh, from from X Files. He's kind of playing the same guy, and this definitely came out like uh, like sometime after he left the show. This was like season nine territory. This like movie came out early two thousand, so it was like season nine or eight or something it like that. It came out two thousand three. 2003. So so it was definitely like the later later years of of X Files. So yeah, he was definitely he was <laughs> he was definitely acting like how he was in the show, which I didn't mind too much honestly. I thought it was fun. Fantastic. Sidney Jacqueline from uh, the YouTube chat says, I just remembered that Evolution had a cartoon series. I did not know that. Wait, what? Yeah, it did. It oh. did. I remember one oh. airing every my country was fun. Damn. It was pretty fun. And it had a, kick a kick-ass soundtrack. At least the intro. It still blurs in my head from time to time. Okay, fantastic, Mr. Fox. That is really good. This is a kind of a weird one. I really like that movie. That That's... Wes Anderson, that dude has some severe OCD, but man, his movies look fantastic. Oh, I love the fact that the uh, the it's like looks like stop motion, but isn't stop motion. I'm pretty sure that it, isn't it stop motion. It is. Stop I think motion. it is stop motion. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is I'm stop motion. Yeah, yeah. You cussing with me? You cussing with me? You cussing with me? I'll cuss you. <laughs> and they start. Uh, acting like feral animals. You just gotta not do it, man. That's all. I understand what you're saying, and your comments are valuable, but I'm gonna ignore your advice. The cuss you are? The cuss am I? Are you cussing with me? No, you cussing with me. Don't cuss and point you're at me. You're gonna cuss with someone. You're not gonna cuss you with me, you cuss little cuss. with me. <laughs> <laughs> Just by the tree. Okay. You wrote a bad... That's just bad songwriting. You wrote a bad song, Isn't Peter. Isn't What are you singing, Peter? Just... Just making it up as I, as I went along, really. That's just weak songwriting. You wrote a bad song, Peter. Didn't he do the... Do the, like, the Dog Island one? where the Isle like, of Dogs. Yep, he did that one, too. Oh, yeah. That movie's really good too. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, Fargo, uh, 1996, really good. Also, don't be scared to watch the TV show. Also, season one actually does tie into the movie a bit with the uh, suitcase. Fucking nerd. I heard that the Fargo show was ongoing. Uh, is that true? Is still ongoing. I don't know because the next season hasn't come out yet, though. But recent seasons have been eh. I like season one and season two a lot. I do think season one is like the best season out of the show. Um, but yeah, uh, Fear Street trilogy. Nah. Fire. I'm, I'm just gonna try to speed through because this is like six pages, dude. I, I don't got all day. Yeah, dude. 
Okay, uh, Lone, just make a video on about Marshall's taste. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know if this will be a highlight or some crap, or I'll just talk to... Whatever, I'll worry about this later. Um, From Beyond, Dust Till Dawn, that's really good. Dust Till Dawn! Oh, so the interesting thing about Dust Till Dawn that I find fucking hilarious is there's this scene where a stripper puts her... Her foot and the hole down it, and the guy starts sucking. Mm. That's Quentin Tarantino. That's Quentin Tarantino. That's Quentin that Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> yeah, he wrote they that couldn't scene find it. Was... <laughs> yeah, he definitely wrote that scene first. It's sick. No, I think the joke is they couldn't find anyone willing to do it, so he volunteered. Why? No, he wrote it for himself. He definitely. No, wrote no, it for no. Himself. The joke is like, so we got this scene with his extra foot in somebody's mouth. You want to film it? No, God, who's into that? No, it was like, it's like, all right, so I asked everyone, I'll volunteer. So, no, 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 because when you talk like Quentin, you have to talk like, he's very snobby, and he talks like this. Like, I he, don't you, you're know certain that he's like. gay, but he, but he doesn't. He, he's, no, watch like, Reservoir Dogs, you know how Reservoir he talks. Reservoir Dogs, watch, watch, um, the Joe Rogan podcast. He, he's very snappy, he very talk, he talks like this, and you're certain he's not, he, he sounds like he's gay, but he's not. He, like, I don't know what that is. Is that a whorehouse? It's like people soliciting people outside. <laughs> Dick, 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 dick. She, she takes so much dick, you see. Like, it's, it's like, uh, what is it? Madonna, Madonna's song, it, it's not like, you know, like a virgin. It's not about her finding her humanity in that crowd. It's a different song. It's about, or I'm trying to remember. I can't, I can't remember the stupid rant. Like a the rant virgin. Rant dogs. It, it. Like, like a virgin? It. It's not a nice guy that meets a nice fella. <laughs> I, can't remember, I, I can't remember that rant. That's a good rant. <laughs> You see the sign that said dead nigger storage? Did you see the sign that said dead nigger storage? You don't know why you didn't see that sign? Uh, I don't really know. Cause it ain't there! Cause storing dead niggers ain't my fucking business, that's why. Oh my god, I shot I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck you do that? Holy shit! Lois, I shot Marv! What language do they speak in what? What? I don't know what what is. We speak English in what? One more time, motherfucker. You got the quote wrong. He's like, "Do they speak English and what? What English, motherfucker? Do you speak do it? You speak do you speak it? it? All right, Gangs of New York, dude. Haven't watched it. That's fantastic. Gantz Zero is really fun. Um, I have seen Gantz Zero because I watched it online. Ah, okay, uh, but I want to add the disc to my collection. All right, that's smart. Gantz Zero. The only way to explain aliens versus people in latex. <laughs> yeah, Jen Kill. Um, I'm well. I need to get. I need to get the Blu-ray for that. That that thing. That miniseries is fantastic. If Saddam worked on the pussy infrastructure of Iraq, no fucking war, right? Thanks to the National Secret Republican Guard. Put him in Vegas for a week. No fucking war. All right, Trench. I said I'll watch it. You know, you'll watch Trench and kill, and you'll like it, some bitch. Glass. Okay. Glass. Uh... That. That movie could have been good. Um, uh, that final act tanks it, unironically. Like, the, literally the worst way to end the, end the trilogy, honestly. Like, like what was his name? Uh, Bruce Willis's character, David Dunn, like, spoilers, dies the dumbest way possible. Mm. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, it's cool seeing, like, I know Split's 50-50 with some people. I like Split, um, and it's cool knowing that it's part of, um... Unbreakable. Got the bigger, yeah. Like this ain't a Stephen King uh, tie-in. Uh, Gremlin, <laughs> Gremlins is really in. fun. Gremlins is fun. What'd you I say, love Trench? Gremlins. Yeah. Gremlins is great. What'd you say, Trench? Especially the one that changes. <laughs> oh, I'm like, no, nothing, Gremlins sorry. is fucking oh, okay. weird. Yeah, like Gremlins too. Is, that's that movie's. That movie's awesome. So, so the the concept of Gremlins too is like, what if we had even more Gremlins? <laughs> It was, it's like, like perfect. I love how met, I like, I liked it as a kid and I love it even more as an adult because there's because so it, much in it. That's like so, it's so clever. It's so meta and so aware of itself. It is like, how is this then, not one of the like most renowned sequels period? Yeah, and, it's insane. And I think the idea, the conception of Gremlins too is okay. It's Gremlins, but there's even more Gremlins. There's more and Gremlins. It's even stupider. It's even stupider, <laughs> and it's so self-aware of itself. And I'm like, like, and Chris Lee, Christopher Lee's in it too, and he's really good in that. And like, uh, I'm actually shocked. Like looking, 
like rewatching it and noticing how much is in it, including how much stuff is in behind the scenes, it's really solid. It's weird. So, so that melting scene with the gremlins and all that, there's like I believe like 158 tiny gremlins they had to film and all that with the mm-hmm. wires. It's really hooked up, but it's really fucking interesting because that dude. melting scene. Oh, dude, the, pra- it, the effects it, are so good. Like, it, they still and, and the, there's today. a little gremlin. I, there's a little wicked witch of the the west, and it's like I'm melting, I'm melting, I want to will. The, it's really the funny. main gremlin there's, villain, the the one with stripe. I think his name was stripe. Stripe, stripe. stripe was in the first his death, one. His death affected me as a kid because that was brutal. Oh yeah, his death that, is brutal. Oh, the gremlin's little. I mean, you don't really care. I didn't care. I mean, I get why people like were kind of affected because of how gnarly the Gremlins' deaths actually are. We I didn't care because it. you weren't expecting. Well, I didn't care too much. I'm not, I'm not trying to be that. Oh, I'm different, but I mean, like, there's such little really devious little shits, so you don't really care. So seeing them get mauled and murdered like that is kind of like amazing to watch. Seeing these little mischievous little like monsters running around, literally exploding and melting and getting destroyed. Is fun, so and it's still fun now that I'm older. So, but I get why people um, thought it was creepy, especially how what was it the um, teacher how he died like well um, what was it lethal injection in his butt, which was actually kind of unintentionally funny or intentionally funny. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the I think the, the the one that's really that stuck with me was the spider gremlin. Oh yeah, that was that gremlins too. That was Gremlins too, right? Yeah. It is where they get all the like the experimental like the drugs and the enzymes and stuff like that. Yeah, there was the brain one and there the was the transgender one. one and the guy box. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and the one that grows the wings and stuff like that. And the bat one and then the electric one. Goodwill Hunt uh Goji Hunt's Asylum. Oh, okay. Goodwill Hunting, that movie is a classic. That's a classic. Um Guns Akimbo. Um, it's fun for that first watch, I would say. Even though, even though the, the, the for begin, it takes a bit to get to the fun stuff, and it is annoying with the whole I'm, internet thing with like, oh, you're kind of oh, cuck lord that type of thing. It's just yeah. it does ooze Hollywood not knowing the internet and yeah, that's that's soundtrack my, is killer. Soundtrack is killer, hey. yeah. John Wick one to four, um, yeah, those those are good. To be honest, I'm gonna John wait Wick. until until John Wick as a series is done before I get all the stuff because you know I want to have it all. It's fair. So For you're sure. gonna wait till Ballerina comes out and Continental? Uh, not the shows, like just the mainline movies. So what about Ballerina? I haven't heard about it, Ballerina until like ten seconds ago. Ballerina is a spinoff that takes place in a John Wick universe. Um, Lance Reddick and Keanu Reeves are gonna make cameos in it. Uh, probably not Lance Riddick. No, 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 no. They already filmed it. It's oh, coming wow. out like sometime. I think either this year or sometime next year. So is this just gonna be the last movie that Lance Riddick is gonna show up in? Uh, possibly. Yeah. Well, if it's done. Doesn't stressed. he still have a few lines in Destiny? I think he does. I don't know. I mean, let's hope that. Sorry, just... I stopped playing Destiny two because I wasn't gonna spend a hundred fucking deals. Actually. Yeah. Still, still hope, uh, you know, that is actually the last outcome because, uh, you know, the band deserves a good outing. Mm. The, uh... That or the Eric Andre show. That's not a good outing. New to Dusk. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Eh, it's fun. I mean, I'm. Never seen I'm, a single episode. Yeah. I like it. Um, I'm not a big mega fan of it. Um, I've read a few chapters. I'm mostly an anime only, to be honest. Um, mostly because, like, I'm not trying to be that guy and say, oh, well, it's too overhyped, so I'm not going to watch it on principle. I'm like, no, it's yeah. overhyped. It is fun. Don't have too many high hopes for it because there's a lot of retcons. There's a lot of anime isms of, like, things change and things not being consistent, etc., etc. But yeah, yeah. it's a fun, it's a the fun show. Thing... It's a fun show, and yeah, there's a lot of good action in it. So yeah, the I watched I uh, about... the first three parts and enjoyed it. Mm. Oh yeah, not I've... so much the, f- not so much the first part because it's kind of badly written. Mm. The yeah. only thing I know about JoJo is that it was me, Dio, all along. It was yeah, Dio. Of course, it's still. So, so there's, there's also a pedophile monkey. 
Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, how does that work? Uh, uh, Ka two. Uh, it there were some fun parts in it. Not as good as the first film. It's not as good. Uh, I have seen it multiple times. I just don't have the disc. Mm. Killer clowns from outer space. That's that's a good that movie. That gave me a that gave me a fear of clowns as a kid. But <laughs> just remember, the two guys fuck space clowns. So stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Korean. Kingdom. Are we talking the anime, the uh, the manga, or are we talking the Korean show? Korean show. Yes. Yeah. All right. The Korean show is really good. Perfect Blue, really good. Plant Terror, really fun. Prey, eh, it's okay. I'm a Predator fan, and it's not, it's not like the Predator. Yeah, yeah, the, the Predator is such a, a mess, it's insane. But Prey, Prey is definitely one of the better ones. That movie offended me. Oh, yeah. What movie offended you? The, pr the Predator. The Predator. The Shane Black one. I remember, I remember about it, like, a. Uh, when I first came here, someone was doing a watch along in a uh, lolly server of that movie. And during the entire time, I was just bitching about how it butchered the lore. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Fucking Zoomers. <laughs> yeah. The, the, Wait, the Terminator just... all. I, I don't have the first Terminator movie. I have two and three. Okay. Uh, I have seen the first Terminator. I just don't have the disc. Okay. Good. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. I keep saying that word. I keep using the word. Nah, I don't think you understand the meaning. I don't think you know what a mink it means. I still mess um, up, right? So, so apparently during COVID, a bunch of people did a re, uh, like, like the actors did Princess Bride, like in short clips and all that. It is the last thing one of the actors did is that is, is the last words he says is, as you wish as he's leaving, like talking about the grandfather because it is the direct it's really good mm. and, and they still fun to remember about andre that shaggy yeah bastard. yeah uh the things a classic the void is really good the beach is pretty spectacular bitch it's it's called bitch the i know because there's two beach it's, it's two v no, it's, it's two v's it's a beach it's a beach you don't go to the beach you must not go to the woods, guys. It's how the Germans would pronounce "witch." It's yeah, they could go fuck themselves. The witch, the witch. Oh, I'm sorry if we pronounce Good Wilhelm. Evening. Wilhelm. The Wilhelm. Yeah, and here's a moron. Young Frankenstein. We're not morons. It's just how we speak. No, Which? he was Frankenstein. What do you mean he was? I'm fucking part German, dude. Ka I oh, Kaiser Wilhelm. Sorry, I thought just oh, he meant Wilhelm the word. Okay. Yeah, Wilhelm. Talk. Hot dog. <laughs> God. Wow, I said, yeah, we pronounce Wilhelm Wilhelm. It's just how it is. So it's pronounced Vich. Vich. Wilhelm. Ooh. Good, so oh, we're, good talk. We're at the... About Wiedersehen. The way you leave. The thing. The, the thing is. Oh, the uh, 1977. Yeah. The, se the, the sequel is also pretty good as a prequel. It's a prequel, which is weird. It should have been called I something. Said. I know, I know. It's just, it's just weird because it has the same name, and it's like, wait, why is it the same name, yet it's a prequel to the first film? What the hell? The thing what are they gonna call it? would have been a lot better if they had just scrapped all that useless CGI and kept the... Uh, you yeah. Know, yeah, they were gonna use practical. They were using practical effects, but no, let's make it CGI. It's so stupid. I still yeah. love that scene where the guy's playing the Swedish guy's playing chess and all that, and he dumps the whiskey out. And he's like cheating, bitch. If you see the move that the computer does, is illegal and has cheated. Cheating, bitch. Guys, cheating, bitch. Uh, the wicker. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you too. The uh, Wicker Man, 1977. That's actually pretty good. Um, kind of sucks that. It, I mean, it's a good. It's a solid movie. It kind of sucks. That it's kind of outshined by the Nick Cage one. Because the um... my favorite scene from the Nick Cage one is where he's dressed up like a bear and he absolutely decks that one. He girl. decks that one girl. 
him in the face, <laughs> and he just like the second, the second, like the last third of that movie is just is 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 perfection. And like he just starts punching girls, the yeah, women just left and right. It's so oh funny. God. It's like there was it's like uh, Adam Sandler in that one movie where he just he chucks a dodgeball as hard as he could at those kids. Oh yeah. You bitches! You bitches! Uh, why? Why does Nick Cage have such an area of it, uh, uh, just a fucking aura of insanity around him? It's Nick Ki Nick Cage, like. Well, that's the thing. It's different types of insanity. Like, well, there's Wonderland. It's badass insanity. Mandy, it's just insanity. Like, it depends what's insanity too. Hey, Wally's Wonderland is a good movie, and I love the fact that that's. I got that's my so mom good. to watch Wonderland, <laughs> and that was and honestly like. It. Oh, that's awesome. Good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, X Files series. Um, that is fucking expensive. I'm not it shocked. Is. It is. It is. Like I thought, the 24 um thing was expensive. Like that thing can no. set you back. But if you would have had, had the house, you would have had the house set. You know, would have mm. would have had house MD perhaps. <laughs> and uh, house has kind of been Never stained by redditor people. Ah, yeah, I mean, I love Greg House, but there are aspects of the show that obviously, like, oh, why is he not wearing a coat? Why is he, why is he, like, not wearing gloves? Why is he not doing this? Why is he not doing that? Even though, like, I really enjoy the show, yeah, yeah, there are aspects of it that don't, especially the Redditor aspect of it. Yeah. One of sad is, funny. I don't fucking care about the Redditor aspect because I never go there, One. and I'm just gonna enjoy whatever it is. But yeah, like, I, it's sorry to go off the rails there, but yeah, Thunder Road's a really good movie, and it's insane how cheap that movie is, because it looks really good, so, shows you you do not need a million dollars to make a good movie, you, you just don't, but yeah, Tokyo Ghoul Priest, Total Recall, if we're talking the original, yeah, it's really good. Do you have the oh, party? I already have the original, recall. I should probably take that off the list. Oh, Total Recall, what? I'm trying to think. I might know what it is. I just can't remember. Total Recall. Sweetheart, be reasonable. After all, we're married. Consider that a divorce. What is it about? I, I, can't, I don't. I might have watched it, but I don't remember. Oh, it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Okay, no, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie okay, where he's no, on no. Mars. Any, any, oh, like, has I know the it. Yeah, no, I watched but, it. I watched it. Okay, God, I was gonna go I ballistic. Could. Like, are you kidding me? I got five kids to feed. <laughs> hey man, I got five kids to feed. I did connect the name to an actual movie. Like so, some might yeah, dude, I, I've quote seen that, one. that movie to this day. See you at the party, Victor. See you at the party, Victor. Screw you. Like you. Wait, are not what you. do you mean I'm not a special agent? <laughs> you are not you. You're me. No kidding. You are not you. You're me. No shit. Like, that's solid. It's a solid film. Yeah. Trick or Treat. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Troll Hunter. Uh, yeah, anthology movie? I think it is. Trick or Treat. Yeah, it's an anthology movie. Uh, is, yeah, I'll that is, one. Are we talking about the one with the sack kid and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the pumpkin kid. Yeah. yeah, that one. Yeah, Really but... fucking good movie. I highly recommend it. Yeah. Why male models? Yeah, sorry I had to speed run that, Marshall, because you had like... You don't understand. There's such a thing as a plus-size model. Sucks so alone. <laughs> Thanks. Well, why male models? And uh, that's dude, just I the just movies I'm looking at. That's not even the movies I have. I mean, I have, I have a crap ton of movies as well in my own catalog. This, this, this segment, this whole list has to be its own uh, stream highlight.